Hello, welcome to my channel, In Flight Music. My name is Ian, and today I'm going to go over the main melody that is inside of Offset's new track, Red Room. I think this would be a good tutorial for you guys to watch to learn how to manipulate the piano roll in finer details. This was actually a lot harder to make in the piano roll than just playing it on a piano. So let's just take a quick listen at what I did here. So there's a few tips and tricks in here that might get you to make more complicated melodies. For a simple melody like this, this actually has a lot of complications to it in terms of using the piano roll. First things first, the BPM that I matched with was 112, but from listening back, it's actually somewhere between 112 and 113. I'm not sure why that is, but it's that's just something to keep in mind. I went ahead with 112 because it stays on beat longer at 112 than at 113. Now you'll see here that I, once again, I'm using expand just like in my John Legend tutorial. I basically layered this three times because I couldn't get the exact sound of the harp slash piano that they have going on in that song. But I did add an effect, which is just a little bit of EQ. So I took out all the lows and all of the highs. It just takes away some of that brightness. It makes it a little bit darker. And you'll notice inside of the song that you'll notice inside of that song, the volume of the melody is super, super low. So they actually concentrate more on the drums and offsets vo vocals than the melody itself. Let's go ahead and look at these presets that I'm using. The first one that I pulled up was a harp, ancient harp, which is inside of the strings category of expand. The next preset that I have is warm natural piano in the piano category. That's more just adding texture. You could tell that the release is pretty short on there. The main part of the release is actually coming from this last preset, which is soft workstation. So that's how I'm getting all the atmosphere that you get from the melody inside of the song. Okay, so how would you go about making this? It's actually, like I said, it's actually a lot more complicated than what it looks like if you're really trying to nail this in the piano roll. Also keep in mind that I play everything in G major slash E minor, so in order to play the exact notes that I'm playing on the piano roll, go into your channel settings and switch this over to A, or you could just move everything up in the piano roll three steps. So the first note that we wanna start out with is this bass note right here, and we're gonna be using it almost like a drum, so it's a rhythm part of the melody. Now the way that I did these glide notes, you're just gonna place those all in order and then we can shift click and drag all of these. Now when I play back, you'll notice that none of these are gliding. So what we're gonna do is highlight all of these and to glide them, we're gonna hit Alt and S. This is our strummer tool. So you'll notice that it shortens all these notes, glides them and just moves them off the grid just a little bit. And you'll also notice that the velocity is gliding up as we go along. I'm actually going to increase that even more. So now there's even more separation in the velocity. And I'm just going to tighten that up just a little bit more. You'll notice that this glide starts on this bottom note. Well, I actually want the glide to start a little early. So what I'm gonna do is hit Control and Alt and shift this over to the left until this note lines up on the grid. That's perfect. So now what we wanna do, shift, click, and drag this over. And now hit Alt and Y. And that flips this glide in the opposite direction. Hit Accept and we're gonna delete this bottom note. And we also wanna delete this very bottom note as well. Because like I said, it doesn't glide all the way down, it's just a slight glide down. So let's listen back. And I'm just gonna hold Alt and Shift and move this timing to the right. So when we play this back, you'll hear that it still kind of sounds a little stubby. 
And that's because we want to highlight these first parts of the glide. That's probably something we should have done first, but we're gonna go ahead and do that now. Hold Alt and drag the ends of these and just make these even tighter. And now we could go ahead and go in the down glide and we're gonna shift these over to the left by holding Shift, Alt, and the left arrow key. And we're just gonna listen and see how close we need to get. All right, so now we can go in and copy and paste this into our additional layers. So just hitting Control C and then Control V. So now let's listen to the first layer, which is the warm natural piano with our harp. Now on the piano layer, I'm going to go ahead and add this soft note up top. And now it should sound like this. just adds a little extra melody to it, which does come in, but it's a super low level note. I don't want that on every layer. So another thing that I'm gonna do is actually highlight this. And I'm also going to highlight all of these bottom notes and lower them a little bit by holding Alt and using the uh, mouse scroll wheel and dragging that down. Go up just a little bit. That's about what we want right there. Now we're just gonna go ahead and add in this last layer, which is the soft workstation. As a matter of fact, we're gonna go ahead and copy this layer and paste it in here. Now we have the velocity changes as well. And that basically just repeats. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that into song mode and let's take a listen. So the biggest takeaways from this quick little melody tutorial for Offset's Red Room, when you're creating glides like this going up, you wanna go ahead and shorten these notes so they're not totally blending in with each other. And then in order to glide them, you hit Alt and S to strum them. And then to make the opposite effect, highlight those notes and hit Alt and Y, and then it'll flip those strums on the other end. So that's a really cool way and a really quick way to make quick little glide melodies that go up and down and actually sound pretty melodic. I think the most important thing when you're trying to mimic a preset or a specific sound from someone else's music, layering is probably gonna be your best friend because you're not gonna have the exact preset or the exact sound. And even if you did, it would take you quite a while to even find it unless it's something that you've used before or something that you remember browsing through. At the end of the day, if you just go in and just listen to what it sounds like, immediately I, th I thought of a harp, immediately I thought of a soft piano. That's how I ended up with these three different layers, an ancient harp, warm natural piano, and this soft workstation. So if you like this tutorial, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.